Hello, this is Blue Joe Saunders, WBO middleweight champion of the world. Subscribe to Sport and Icons to stay in touch with all the top news. God bless you all. You've all heard the old saying, where there's smoke, there's usually some fire. And everywhere I look on the, the internet right now, I'm seeing that Demetrius Andrade, yes, I'm calling him Demetrius Andrade, because there seems to be a lot of Americans calling him Andrade. And of course, he is American. I'm presuming that they are correct. A lot of people are saying Andrade. I don't know which one. Either way, we're going with Demetrius Andrade. So anyway, there's loads of rumours that he has in fact signed with Eddie Hearn. And this could be part of the huge announcement on the 17th. Well, when is that? Is that Tuesday or Wednesday? I'm not too sure. Either way, there's going to be plenty of announcements on July the 17th from Eddie Hearn to his own regarding the price structure, regarding the events, regarding fighters signed. So we're going to find out all that real soon. And Demetrius Andrade is allegedly one of them. Now... While that's great, it's good for his career, Eddie Hearn will do all that he can to promote him and make him a big name. So from that point of view, excellent. Now there is something that's more interesting than that for me. As we know, Billy Joe Saunders, the WBO World Middleweight Champion, has been mandated to fight Demetrius Andrade next. They have the next 10 days, well it's now 9 days, to come up with a deal. If not, it's going to have to go to purse bid. When it goes to purse bid, it has to be over $200,000 and then on in. So that means that Billy Joe Saunders, who is a Frank Warren fighter, who fights on BT Sport, is going to have to outbid Eddie Hearn to zone. That's interesting in itself, right? Because as we know, Frank Warren doesn't want to work with Eddie Hearn. Um, he's refused to do purse bids for certain fights before and just refuses point blank anything to do with Eddie Hearn. So this will be interesting. If they can't reach an agreement, if Andrade is signed with Eddie Hearn and they can't reach an agreement, it's going to go to purse bid. That means if Eddie Hearn wins, that means he chooses the networks. Now he could allow BT to show it in the UK. He could. But he's already said that any fights that's going to be shown on DAZN via Matchroom will be shown on Sky Sports. That means if Eddie Hearn wins and if he sticks to that, it will be shown on DAZN, which is going to upset Frank in itself because he, he doesn't want DAZN to be successful at all. And it will be shown on Sky Sports, not BT Sport. Eddie Hearn is under no obligation to put Billy Joe Saunders, a Frank Warren fighter, on Billy Joe Saunders if he wins the purse bid. He, he will own everything he will run the show if he wants to choose bt sport he can but would he unlikely i mean he he might he might you know just to try and build a bit of a bridge between himself and frank warren but unlikely now if frank warren was to win then obviously it'll be on bt sport in the uk and they're going to show it in the us he could negotiate with any other platform, whether it be Showtime, whether it be HBO, ESPN. He could do whatever he wants again, because he owns the show. So what happens in Frank Warren versus Eddie Hearn, when these two go to a purse bid and try to outbid each other? Who's gonna win that one? Who has the deeper pockets? I suppose this will come down to who really wants to own the fight the most. Who wants to broadcast it the most? Who wants to promote it the most? Eddie Hearn and DAZN have way more money available to them than what BT Sport do. So I'll probably favour Eddie Hearn to win that one. And that's really going to upset Frank. It really is. Because he's not going to want to be sat there in the crowd with a DAZN camera looking at him and a Sky Sports camera looking at him. He's not going to want that. Okay? So is he going to talk Billy Joe Saunders into vacating? Now bearing in mind, Frank Warren, he's been talking about the good of the fans, giving the fans the fights that they want, regardless of the platform. Of course, he's been very critical of the whole AJ and Wilder situation in favour of Shelley Finkel, his old time friend, Frank Warren's manager. Sorry, um, John Taylor Wilder's manager. So, is he really going to talk BJ Saunders into vacating if he loses the purse bid? Or is he going to have to pay over the odds just to make sure he outbids Eddie Hearn and his own? Because obviously Eddie Hearn, he's only going to go to a certain point. He's not going to go over the top. But this is a big fight. Eddie Hearn would love, love to have Billy Joe Saunders on his platform. It's an interesting situation. Will this fight happen? For me, I don't know if Frank Warren will talk Billy Joe Saunders into vacating. If he does... And that would be terrible, Frank. So I'm, not, I'm just giving you a heads up. If you talk Billy Joe Saunders into vacating his WBO title, because you don't want that fight on DAZN. 
Now, I know he won't say because I don't want it on disown or, or I don't want it on Sky. He'll come up with some other excuse like, well, it wasn't enough money or whatever. He'll come up with something. But if this happens, Frank, I am going to be pissed. Real, real pissed. Now, automatically, of course, I'm a British fanboy, okay? Matrim predominantly. Why? Because they give us the better shows. That's just right now. And I hope Frank Warren improves all that to change me on that one because I do like Frank Warren and I, and I love his fighters and British fighters and all that kind of thing. And of course, anybody who signs with Matchroom, Matchroom USA, I'm going to be supporting them even more than what I usually do. Okay, like Dan Jacobs, I've always supported him, I've always liked him, but I support him a little bit more now. And that would be the same with Demetrius Andrade. But of course, when you put him in with B. Joe Saunders, I'm sorry, Eddie, but I'm going to be going with Billy Joe on this one. <laughs> I want Billy Joe to smash Demetrius Andrade. I want him to smash him, humiliate him, do anything that he can to get that win. I'm team Billy Joe on this one. So yes, I will be going against Eddie Hearn if this fight happens. If Demetrius Andrade, of course, does sign with Eddie Hearn, which again, just remind you that you will be finding out on Tuesday, the 17th of July and fully expect Anthony Joshua to be announced on that deal as well, fighting Alexander Povetkin September the 22nd. There's also a rumor of Chavez Jr. taking on Gabriel Rosado. In fact, there's quite quite a few rumors. Um, maybe I'll do a separate video of that one. If you all guys want that video, let me know in the comment section below. But for now, just a little food for thought about Frank Warren versus Eddie Hearn, BT Sport versus The Zone, and Sky Sports. Drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up. Subscribe, catch you all on the next video.